Huli Huli chicken is on the menu today. Huli Huli chicken is a Hawaiian dish and Huli means turn, so it's turn turn chicken. This is a simple and easy recipe. You can put it on the grill and barbecue this. You can cook it in the oven. You can cook it in a crock pot or the instant pot, whatever you want. Today I'm gonna to be doing mine in the oven, so we're gonna bake it. And we have a delicious marinade for this that you are gonna love. And again, it's very simple. We'll throw everything into a bowl, mix it up, marinate the chicken overnight and cook it and we're done. Our sauce contains some soy sauce, pineapple juice, a lots of spices and things going on, which we'll all show you later. And uh, it's very delicious. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Why did Mozart hate chickens? Because all they say is, bok, 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 bok. <laughs> we're gonna start off our recipe here with our marinade, and we're gonna start with some pineapple slices that are packed in its own juice, so it's 100% pineapple juice. And we're gonna add that to a measuring cup. And to that, I'm gonna add some gluten-free soy sauce, but you can use regular soy sauce if you like. And don't forget, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. So I'm gonna pour this into a bigger mixing bowl just so I can get everything into it. Then we're gonna add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. There's a little bit of acid to balance out the sweet. Oh, and make sure you give that a little shake because, well, we wanna make sure that mother gets mixed up into all of the apple cider vinegar before we serve it up. All right, let's add some tomato paste. Now, like I said, this recipe is super easy to make. The only thing is, is you're gonna wanna marinate it. It's ideal to do it overnight. Now for a little kick in our recipe, we're gonna add some ginger. I'm using fresh here, it's the best. So peel it off with a spoon like I've done here, and then we'll grate it with a microplane. Then I'll place that ginger right into our mixing bowl. Next comes our garlic. So I'm gonna stack a few cloves into my garlic press here and we'll just squeeze it on out, just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. All together, I'm putting in about four to five cloves of garlic. Next, I'll add some smoked paprika, nice little smoky flavor here. This is made from bell peppers or sweet peppers, so it's really not spicy at all. To sweeten our sauce a little bit, I'm using coconut sugar in this, and that's a little bit lower on the glycemic index, so that's why I'm using it. Our last ingredient for our sauce, I'm using some chicken broth here, and then we'll give this a nice whisk to combine it really well. Now all we need is our chicken. So I'm using Trader Joe's organic free range chicken here. This is boneless, skinless thighs. I like to use the thighs because they just stay much more tender and juicy than say chicken breast. Pour that marinade right over the chicken, but make sure you reserve about a cup, maybe a cup and a half of it, so that we can reduce it, and then we'll use it later to baste our chicken. I like to push the chicken down into the marinade just to make sure it's coated well, and you could also put this in a Ziploc bag if you want. I'm gonna cover this with saran wrap, and we're gonna place it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. This is definitely a recipe you wanna start the day before. Okay, so I'm gonna sneak in chef joke number two here. Why did the Huli Huli chicken refuse to play cards? Because it heard you could get a foul hand. All right, let's get back to business. All right, so you can see here that I'm covering my baking sheet with some foil. Now this is just gonna make cleanup a lot easier because whenever you have sugar in your sauce, guess what? It's going to stick and create something difficult to clean. Now this is how easy cleanup is after you make this dish. If you decide to barbecue this, keep that in mind. It is going to stick and probably make a bit of a mess on your barbecue grill. Now make sure you preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll place these in the oven for 15 minutes and then we're gonna turn them over, baste them again, and cook them another 15 minutes. Remember that cup of sauce we saved? Well, it's gonna go into a little saucepan here and we're gonna heat it up on the stove and we're gonna simmer it down so it reduces a little bit and it'll intensify the flavor. And this will take about 10 minutes. Here's our chicken after 15 minutes. So I'm gonna flip all the pieces over and then I'm going to baste the second side. All right, we'll cook that another 15 minutes and it should you know, be done. It should get up to a temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we'll do our next step. 
Use an instant read thermometer to check the temperature of your chicken to make sure it's 165 and you're good to go. Now remember that pineapple we had in the can? Well now we're going to place it on top of the chicken and then we're going to baste it a little bit more with that good sauce and we're going to just broil it this time for just a few minutes until things start to caramelize a bit. If you are enjoying my videos and you would like to support my channel, click the Amazon link in the description of this or any of my videos. I will get a small commission for whatever you buy at no additional cost to you. This helps to support my channel and is greatly appreciated. So place your oven on broil and then place this back in the oven. Leave the door cracked a bit so you can keep an eye on it because you don't want it to burn. Now this is probably going to caramelize everything quickly so keep an eye on it. And plan on this taking three to five minutes depending on how far away your pan is from the heating element. Here's our huli chicken right out of the oven and you can garnish it up with a little sliced onion, green onion here. Right at the end, I like to brush a little more of that marinade on top and then you can serve it up. It'd be great over some white rice and or cauliflower rice. Now here's a dish that would be dynamite with this chicken. This is my shrimp macaroni salad. It's one of my dad's recipes, so it's a real big family recipe that I just love sharing with everybody that wants to try it. Click the link on the screen, it'll take you right to the video. This is truly a family favorite. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.